Hey Caleb, Norman from Schaefer Chevrolet here with our 2009 Chevrolet Malibu. I'm gonna take a walk around it for you so you can get a real good look at it. I know I send some pictures, but uh, I prefer videos myself. Uh, so you get a real good look at everything. Nice aluminum alloy wheels on here. Actually, got that chrome finish to them. Tires have pretty decent life left in them. I figured this one would work for you. The HHR does have a deposit on it, uh, but this was only $100 more, um, which really is not gonna affect your payment. Uh, you know, it's gonna be peanuts on your payment, maybe a, a dollar or so. But uh, taking a walk around it, it's looking pretty solid. Uh, I drove around the lot. It seemed to start up just fine. It's got the remote start on there. Uh, interior seems pretty clean, but we'll get to that. You know, uh, just take my initial walk around right now. But uh, regardless, seems to be in pretty good shape. So let's go ahead and uh, stick our heads inside. Well, my head anyways. So like I was saying, you have this dark interior. Once again, pretty good shape. I'm not seeing any rips, tears, burn holes. It smells like a pretty clean car. It doesn't smell like a smoke or anything. That's the... Uh, you just pull that down, 60-40 split seat. So you open up a lot more cargo space, as you can see right over there. You can also fold that one down. Let's take a look up front. <clears throat> Power everything, windows, mirrors, locks. You have your trunk release down there. We're going to go ahead and pop that. Uh, but you have your power seat as well. Once again, I'm not seeing any rips, tears, burn holes. Same thing on this side there. So let's go ahead and hop on inside and we'll see on the left of us we have our interior light settings cruise controls on the wheel resume set info this info though is not going to be for the uh cruise control so we'll we'll take a look there see so your driver information center 75 degrees out 97,628 miles trip a trip b fuel range fuel economy instant economy average speed, oil life, tire pressures, and then back to the trip and odometer. So that's really good information to see there. Um, but like I was saying, on and off, resume and set, this info is just gonna see in there and that's gonna reset certain things. You have your exterior light settings and your blinkers. Let's get the air going. Right over here is where you'll find your windshield wipers. You can open that up for a little bit of space up top here. OnStar capabilities right up top in the mirror. Try to focus that a little bit better. And then we have our radio controls with our CD player and auxiliary jack so you can plug in an MP3 player, an iPod, cell phone. And then your climate controls. Air seems to be blowing pretty cold right now. I wanted to definitely test that, especially on a day like today when it is pretty nice and warm out. Let's move this out of the way real quick. You can pop that open for a little little space down there. Also, 12 volt charger. And then we have our uh, center console here. You can uh, hide that, open it back up. You have all this space, cup holders there. Right here, you can open this up. You'll be able to reveal quite a bit of space in there. Or just do the top part, still a little bit of space. Um, you also have your traction control over here, hazard. So nice little clean car, uh, not a whole bunch of miles on it. And it's in pretty good shape too. So I think this one would definitely work for what you're trying to do. Little gas sipper here. So once again, Norman from Schaefer Chevrolet. Check out the video. Um, hopefully you enjoy it, hopefully you liked it. And uh, we'll proceed from there. So we'll, uh, we'll chat soon, bye bye.